hello everyone how are you all doing in this video we are going to talk about the iphone 11 on the ios 15.2 firmware is it worth installing ios 15.2 on your iphone 11 well at the time of making this video ios 15.2 is in beta stages but it is just right around the corner the rc most probably the day i'm uploading this video it is tuesday 30th of november and i think apple will release the ios 15.2 rc today the day is 30th november mark your calendars hopefully today is the day when apple will release the ios 15.2 rc and then next week we will have the public release of ios 15.2 well as of now we do not have any new wallpapers but it is expected that apple may give us some new wallpapers on the ios 15.2 rc but uh I, I'm, I'm still kind of skeptical on it you know but uh, the only person who will be really happy uh, about the wallpapers will be well, for sure me because I am waiting for wallpapers forever on iOS 15 by now. And I know you guys want some new wallpapers too. So don't worry, I got you covered. I have links in the description. You can click those links for dope wallpapers. I have some dope wallpapers for people who want to save some energy on their OLED iPhones. And I also have some colorful ones for people using LCD iPhones. And basically, I have the whole catalog filled with dope wallpapers for you guys. So you can click that link and uh, just download those wallpapers anyways talking about the performance of iphone 11 on ios 15.2 rc well rc is not out i mean the beta that i'm running on my iphone 11 so the beta has been really amazing for me yes surprisingly amazing for me uh, even on my iphone 12 i am having some battery issues but on my iphone 11 i am not having any kind of issue which is really weird and really good at the same time because you know i am testing ios 15.2 on a lot of devices lately but it has been the best for me on the iphone 11 it is kind of weird that even on the iphone 12 pro max it feels a bit laggy and stuttery sometimes on some apps uh, especially banking apps but on iphone 11 surprisingly it the those issues are not present on iphone 11 maybe apps are not not being optimized on the 12 pro max but i'm, I'm still kind of confused why iphone 11 is performing so good on ios 15.2 beta even go, uh, much better than its uh, successor 12 pro max. holiday season is right around the corner but black friday sale is now live and you are watching a tech channel so you know what a vpn is i don't think so i need to sit here and talk about vpn all that much they are offering you up to 69 percent of of just 2.50 dollars for a month black friday deal you can see this is a steal like go ahead and get one like 69 percent off it's a really nice deal isn't it the top link in the description and you can get your privado vpn subscription it is really darn cheap and you for money at the same time i am using privado vpn that's why i am here talking about it and recommending you guys to get it and the fact that it is so cheap right now go ahead and get it link yeah, in the so description. it is a good news for people using iphone 11 talking about the battery life the battery life if i'll talk about in percentages i would say it is about 0.8 percent better compared to the ios 15.1 that i was coming from it can end my day of uh, moderate usage using whatsapp twitter and uh, browsing on safari and then uh, checking youtube for about 15 20 minutes i end my day at about 40 to 45 percent which is really really good on ios 15.1 i was ending my day about at 38 percent uh, or maybe 35 sometimes so it is more than 0.8 percent actually but still in my testing sometimes the ios 15.1 version was ending at 40 to 41 percent so that's why i managed i gave ahead and uh, uh, my cumulative score will be 0.8 percent better than the ios 15.1 there is not a lot to talk about in the ios 15.2 as there are not a lot of new features or changes present as of now apple have not really done a lot in this update but yes uh, using car 
CarPlay. CarPlay have a dark mode now. So if you can connect your iPhone uh, to your car, you will have an option to use dark mode even when it's not dark, when it is supposed to be used in dark. So yeah, it is good to be having uh, the control to use dark mode 24-7 for those nerds out there who love using dark mode 24-7. That's me actually. <laughs> By the way, remember those child protection features that Apple was talking about earlier. Those features will be rolling out with the ios 15.2 as of now the iMessage people are getting splash screens personally i did not really got any splash screen like this as you can see on screen so the these features are now on in the ios 15.2 beta and hopefully it will be on and scanning will be scanning your photos on your phone when ios 15.2 rolls out on uh, next week which will be december hope so I mean, yeah, so be safe uh, or um, <laughs> there will be police outside your door. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If this video was helpful for you guys, consider hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. I keep on doing these type of stuff on my channel. So if you are into iOS content, consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you guys in the very next episode. Peace.